Hey Brett. Greetings. How's it going? It's going. Show me your awesome <laughs> awesomeness that you're working on All right, right now. So I've taken a storm talon and converted it into a walker and it's going to be a counts as ball predator for us uh, blood, blood Angels army. That's awesome. And, uh, and it has magnetized yeah, options. So those are magnetized. So that's what the turret would normally this is, be. Yeah, this right? would be the turret. And then you have the heavy bolters on the side okay. with magnetized flamers. And you're, you're still working on yeah, this is still smoothing out the rough edges exactly. here. But actually, okay, what about the legs? Where do those come from? The legs are AT40. AT43. Um, uh -huh. Everything else, though, other than the, the flamers, are all from the kit. The so this, uh, Storm Talon uh -huh. kit? Everything right here? Storm Talon kit. Okay, that's yeah. great. So, yeah, I still have some work to do to make it look a little cleaner, but... All right, awesome. thanks a lot, Brad. No hey, Josh. Hey, let's take a look at this gear that you're working on. Sure. That is uh, PRDF Army. Peace River Defense Force, by oh. the way. That's kind of like this small little country type thing out in the middle of nowhere in uh, heavy gear land is my understanding. I don't know, I could be wrong. Yeah. Correct me, heavy gear fans. Heavy gear is a... Uh, approximately 15 millimeter scale game. So uh, these gears, which are approximately the size of a regular 25 millimeter infantry, uh, some of them are a little bit bulkier. Like, look at this guy here. This guy's a little bit bigger. They're on uh, approximately 25 millimeter bases. Uh, these in the game world would be about 20 or 30 feet tall. And a guy would be about a quarter of an inch uh, in, this, in this scale. So, uh, but you mostly play the game with just the gears, and it's an anime style, uh, future, um, hard science fiction uh, setting. And uh, quite frankly, I, I've been looking it over and reading up some of the background, and uh, I'm pretty excited. And uh, it's a really super company. Uh, uh, DreamPod 9's been around forever, even since uh, I had my game shop uh, way back in the 90s. Uh, Heavy Gear has been cracking it. Uh, here's a guardsman for scale, so you can see uh, uh, the scale there. Uh, so here's a kit. It's in this hard plastic shell case. This is a paint kit uh, for heavy gear blitz. That, by the way, blitz is um, something like the third edition of the game. It's the current edition of the game uh, that has very much streamlined rules. So here's what you get in this paint kit. Isn't that exciting? So uh, they are uh, Reaper. Uh, tight paints made especially for heavy gear and uh, has this really nice uh, foam uh, case there. All right, here's John. He's working on a war machine project, a pretty huge one actually, probably about 200 points of war machine. Here's a few finished figures with this war hog, this crocodile guy is pretty awesome. I love this alligator. He's like a black hide wrestler, I think is his name. I'm actually not sure. There's uh, different types of these. Uh, gator men are an absolutely fun faction for hordes. I just absolutely love the whole feel and concept by them. They have kind of a Louisiana Bayou thing going on. Uh, here's this guy. I don't even know what this is. So uh, he's got this giant shield. Uh, is this a conversion? Nobody knows. Um, it's uh, certainly uh, it's certainly pretty huge. Okay, so here's Karen doing some research and taking full advantage of our Dress Cheerfully campaign. <laughs> That's not what it is. That's right. I'm rebelling against the dress code. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> she, earlier she was, she was burning a Navy BTP shirt out in the parking lot. <laughs> I won't be part of your system. I threw it on the ground. So uh, what's up? We got three dead Oh, you're doing some Death Watch again? Yeah, we're doing Kill Team oh, stuff. Oh, that's great. I love this most icely terrain. That makes me really happy. So I had uh, a bird of boy. Hey, Jules. What you working on? Working on an eloquent high elf adventure. That's awesome. Can I see one that's finished out of that set there? Or close to finished, this I guess? Close. I guess it would all be technically work, work in progress. This is a uh, role playing game figure. Uh, in fact, let me see if I can get some better light here. There you go. This is a diva. Absolutely fantastic. Oh, I love your little scroll work there, Julie. It's so, so, uh, so fine. Thank you. All right, fantastic. Thanks a lot, Julie. <laughs> Thank you. 
A quick note, we're here in trade stock. <clears throat> this is a Blood Angels army or part army that is coming onto the block today. Check it out. So that's what that looks like. <laughs> okay guys, here's some dark, these guys are working on a Dark Vengeance set. And uh, here's some work in progress shots. And uh, yeah, these are these are these are looking good. Yep, except the basin. Thank you. So the Dark Vengeance kit. These model like look. Just look at this one cultist. So much going on. So many details. Like look at this guy's hand. Oh my gosh. There's so many different conversions you can make from this kit. It's just absolutely ridiculously fantastic. Super good job, guys. Thanks a lot. Yeah, this is, I, okay, I want to show you guys this tank for heavy gear, right? Oh, can we cut the music? Me. I'm sorry, guys. No, all right, all right here we go. Time. I know. Okay, so, uh, yeah, you'll have to get it a little bit closer. So this is a Hussar, and this has like 50 little pieces to it. But it is such a neat kit. Tons of detail. I guess I'm kind of narrating it for you. Go, go ahead, Rob. <laughs> I don't quite know how to pronounce it, but the uh, Hussar is a heavy gear model. It has a tank mode, which is what we're assembling right now, and I still need to build the arms and a few other weapon options, but this is what we have so far. It also has a walking mode. Oh, are you kidding me? So it's like a transformer. Yeah. So oh, that's great. It has a walking okay. and a tank mode, and great. we're currently magnetizing all of the options. Can you show me? Customer. Can you switch it out? Well, what we have here is the top turret. So we have this so one large like. cannon. Ooh, turn it around, because moving pieces are cool. Thank you. <laughs> okay, awesome. Then we have these dual cannons, which are very similar to the earlier one. Oh, that is so neat. Okay, great. We also have quad Gatling guns. Okay, that's neat. What a detailed kit. All right, thanks a lot, Rob.